I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot the shot. I'm coming in hot. Hey, what's up, you guys? Josh from August of Truck Fit. Today we are out on the White River. I got my buddy Chris over here. <laughs> and uh, we're in his raft boat. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I'll show some. I'll show a little bit of footage of his raft um, later on. But uh, yeah, today we're just gonna try to do some fly fishing. I got my drone, so hopefully I don't sink that. This will be the first time me actually trying to get some footage with that. So yeah, we're gonna get to it, and we'll see you out there. Okay, I gotta narrate this next scene because um, I, I wasn't sure if the camera was going on it. So I wanted to get the footage, look at it, but um, I did get a glimpse of what's about to happen and it kind of freaked me out. Um, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Uh, my drone, which is the Mavic Air 2, has a lot of safety features in it that um, avoids it from hitting stuff from the front and the back and it knows you know how low it's getting to the ground and it'll hover it'll hover like three foot above the ground or five foot something like that and it you have to manually make it drop where you want it this is my first time owning a drone it has never failed or done anything like this before what you're about to see is really confusing and it's really sad really i was uh i was kind of heartbroken Might have possibly just killed my drone. Astro, no. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. That's 20 inches, at least. Oh my God. Oh, we were just talking about this. 
That's a rainbow too. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. This is gonna be hard to land because I don't have much. I can't reel anymore. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Oh my God. What you come to Cotter for? Put your left hand, move your right hand so we can see the length. So one person go one side and the other person go the other. Okay. Makes sense. So usually, typically, the easiest thing to do is like you go and then I'll go. Oh, jeez, man. Why do you keep your weight on that side? Yeah. Oh, I bet. Okay. Oh. So it's half time and I'm taking over the sticks. And he's about to whack one. Oh, oh dude, I can't reach your net to help you out. Let's go. Yes. Like What'd he that? hit? That bottom? They both came out. Yeah. They're both out? Yeah, they're both out. I mean, isn't that crazy? It's freaking nuts. Really? There's a rock right here. There you go. Sweet. Sweet. That was a very narrow little. Oh. Felt something. So I'm going lower than I was yesterday. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. That's a brown, buddy. Yeah. Come on. I in those weeds. <laughs> I thought it was a brown. Maybe it's a rainbow. Golly, he's strong. Oh, that's a big rainbow. Big fat one. Oh, oh. Man. Heck yeah. Thirty yards up is where I got broke off. Of today. I'll get him. I'm trying to get it out here in front. Oh my god! That fuzzball takes a minute to drop. It's gone. Oh, nice, nice, there he is. Let's go. That orange one again. Yeah. Hey, good morning, you guys. We're up here in Cotter. If you're on the White River, you know that bridge right there. Uh, I'm gonna show you my buddy Chris's. 
his raft here. I've never fished out a raft. I met him on the Little Red, but I know some of you are going to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Little outboard. He's got it all locked up. You can't you can't steal this platform right here. Rod storage. It's pretty neat. He's got his bed extender right here. Sticks. I'm not sure the dimensions on it. I don't ask him. I'll leave, I'll leave a comment or something on that, but pretty neat. This will be my first time ever fishing out of a raft, so I'm, I'm excited. We're about to get out on the water, so we'll see you out there. Ooh.